Good evening and welcome to module two. This module, in this module, we're really focusing in on that junior learner, trying to set a good foundation as we move into the other parts. It's a little funky this week as we kind of have that overlapping modules with module one from last week that we're finishing up. Um, the weekend, really, we didn't have a full week there. And module one is more of a reading activity for the most part, just getting a sense of a course. So hopefully, uh, you've already posted your introduction and you're getting to know others and we're moving on to that standard of practice activity. Just before we dig in, just a couple tips for a successful course. I know online courses sometimes feel a little funky um, compared to that natural flow that happens face to face. So just a couple tips to help make our time together be really successful. Uh, one is to go back to the announcement page. We've said this um, in a couple thing times, especially with the email this morning, but really the announcement pages where I'll be uh, clarifying, updating, sharing info. When we talk about the assignments, we'll put a little video intro there. So it's really the go-to for all that sharing. Uh, one of the hardest parts I find with online courses is that you don't have a kind of set schedule like you would with a physical course where you go for a Tuesday night. Um, so one of the tricks that I used when doing my master's online even was to kind of set my own timelines. Um, so I'd always make sure there was one post by Wednesday and that I had gone back and posted by Saturday just because it helped work uh, for me. Really set your own schedule just so that it helps you stay in that routine and uh, picking a schedule that kind of works for you. Sometimes it's checking in daily like I do with the course, but that's definitely not required. Um, for others, it's kind of setting their own kind of class hours um, to check in. So whatever works for you. And the third one is really just remembering that it's all about dialogue. So when we look at your participation or um, engagement mark for this course, it's a big chunk of our mark because it is uh, the most important part of our exploration together. And really the hardest thing online is that we often create really big posts, and then don't have that dialogue afterwards. So as we go through the course, hopefully we can build on that dialogue. It will happen as we get to know each other and as you're working in small groups um, through a variety of uh, different uh, explorations and activities. It really is about sharing uh, your experiences and asking those questions. So this week we're in Module 2. We're going to be looking at... Uh, a variety of activities and I'm going to go through them just in a second all again focused on that junior learner uh, and then you have that blog post from last week which is our only kind of assignment piece that we're looking at it's just a paragraph kind of explaining what you would like to get out of the course and some questions that you have kind of burning so let's go into our flow for this week so again, you're going to want to go through the course materials for all of our work. The discussion board link is here and the reflective blog link is here so you can easily access it to go back to it. But really always start from the course materials. And as we go through, uh, we have our checklist here on the top. Our Minds On has three video clips. I love I Am 11. Uh, I may have to go back in because some of the Closed captioning may not be great. Kane's Arcade, if you've never seen it. And a kid president clip to kind of set the tone. And we have our answer guard in here that's going to pull um, where we're going to put in our the words that come to mind with the junior learner. So as you're going along, just type in your word one word at a time and add them to our piece. Thank you for those that already added it in so I will put imaginative is a word I would use too and just push enter and uh, if it's mentioned more than once it will be big just remember put one word at a time if you can it will just make our word cloud come together the other thing we see there right after that is diving into a very important point so we have the guides to effective literacy instruction they're a few years old now but they have a really nice summary of the junior learner uh, so you're just reading pages 12 to 20, and we're using Padlet for this activity. We're just testing out um, the different tools, and thanks, Holly, for getting us started. Uh, so you just, with the Padlet, you just double tap, and you're ready to add your very important point. So just choosing one that you think um, the group could benefit from. 
And we're gonna link all of these pieces together from our three words to our very important point, and then pulling together that piece from psychology, uh, and I know we have some experts in the group, uh, and some of uh, the psychologists and what they had to say about the junior age learner. We have our three discussion boards and you're gonna see your name has been included underneath. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. And for 2.3, we're gonna dive into growth mindset and resiliency, which is a huge piece at this age level as um, students are developing and uh, they get closer and closer to some of that uncomfort that exists. Uh, for that discussion, we have two discussion boards just so that you can talk to people that are working on the topic at similar timelines as you. So if you're posting Monday to Thursday, you're going to post in the early birds. And if it's more, if you're more of a weekend poster, you're going to do that under the weekenders. So hopefully that helps you get started and we'll see you online.